All right, anybody want to see my little Willie today? <laughs> well, uh, latest toy I picked up. Um, I picked this one up for me. I've been wanting um, this little modulator for a long time. Now that I got it, I don't know how happy I am with it, though. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do, but um, uh, it's a couple things um, I don't like about it. Um, well, this is a little Willie. Um, I think it's made by the same people who made the Firebird 500. <clears throat> um, one thing in the Windjammer power modulator, and I thought this was more of a modulator than it is. It is kind of built like a modulator in some ways, and in some ways it's not. Um, but one thing I don't like about it is the switches are kind of opposite of what you would think of normal. Like off is up and on is down. Same with uh, standby is up and in operate is down and AM SSB same thing. SSB is up and AM down. So to turn this amp on and operate and uh, AM all the switches are down on it which is a little weird. Um, it's got a standard uh, Pi output circuit but the um, tune cap is actually fixed and it has one uh, cap on the uh, output side of the um, Pi circuit which would be the load cap even though they call that tune um, right there um, the tune cap is fixed and the um, load side is variable which is the load right there but I guess um, if they called it load um, um, people would like you know what's that I guess I don't know but anyway I'm gonna take the cover off my little willy um little little willy porn show the insides of the thing it's just a uh, single 6lq6 tube um i think that tube with the green stripe is radio shack i think um you know not that much to it, it does have quite a bit of filter caps that's because it's got high voltage cap and uh, caps for the screen it runs a screen instead of grounded grid some negative bias caps and then some um, low voltage caps so um, it is kind of set up like a modulator but the way I say it isn't is because there's no uh, tuned input well there's a tuned input but it's not variable it's fixed again um, it's there under the tube if you see a coil up under there um, you know it can't adjust it so you can't vary the dead key or the power out of this thing at all you know only thing you got is the um, so called tune cap right there on the output side and um, if you heard me before you never ever detune the output you always tune the output for max but if it has an input or a, you know a variable bias or a power adjust which would adjust the screen or the bias or the input side you can you know turn it down but not with the output side but this one doesn't have any um, output adjustments at all the only other thing they got is got a pot there but that goes to the meter that's just a meter adjust other than that there's no adjustments or anything and that's what I don't like about it that you cannot dial up or down your watts like on you know most modulator type uh, amps you can dial your watts in and out and, and down and up and the dead key and all that but this one you can't so with that I don't um, really like it as much as I thought I would because um, I thought like a black cat you'd be able to dial it up and down I'm going to turn it on and let it warm up a little bit while I'm talking but um, no variable so um, it just does what it does I guess you can get a radio with the variable or a dial a watt but um that's kind of the reason um, I wanted one of these, um, you know, because I thought it was more of a modulator and I could vary the um, output power on it. But um, it's kind of similar to this uh, one tube swinger 101 I got here, um, you know, just the um, tune on the output side. Um, and it uses the same 6LQ6 tube, um, but this one is not set up as a modulator um, at all. It's a grounded grid, just got the. Um, high voltage filter caps and you got some low voltage over here on this board over here low voltage caps to run the board and um, a delay cap for the SSB but the uh, screen and the grid for the bias that's what they mean by grounded grid they are grounded directly so there's no voltage going to them and hence 
doesn't need any electrolytic caps you know like this one with all those um, caps it got on it but I wish it had a bias but anyway it should be all warmed up and pretty close to um, tuned up so um, we gotta key it down this little digital watt meter here is going into the amp so that's my input watts from the radio it came about three and a half roughly and uh, 1.9 SWR into the amp then the amp goes over to the watt meter and then a big dummy load I got we're on a 200 watt scale and this is the output of the amp so it's dead can a little under 20 watts on the 200, middle 200 watt scale audio audio talking about 45 50 watts ah, ah, whistle not working again and going about 60 uh, watts with the whistle and that's RMS calibrated to a bird and uh, Last we're going to put it on peak watts. Audio, audio. Talking about 70 peak. And whistle a little under 70. Audio, about 75. Audio, audio. So, that's my little Willie. And like I said, I'm a little bit disappointed um, in my little Willie. <laughs> Um, doing too many watts. I wish it was an easy way to, to dial it up or down. Um, maybe I'll modify it one day, but you know, uh, Tram Doctor got a thousand projects, so you know, who knows if I get to it or not. But um, since I always wanted me a little wheelie and I finally got one, um, I guess I'm going to hang on to it for a while. Anyway, that's going to be it for Tram Doctor's Little Willie. Bye. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.